Hey guys, and welcome to NASCAR Diecast TV. So I'll be doing a review on Eric Almarola's number 43 U.S. Air Force Ford Fusion for Richard Petty Motorsports. Now, of course, uh, it has been announced that Almarola will not be returning to Richard Petty Motorsports next year. Um, yeah, will he go to Stewart? I, I, I think he'll go to Stewart House because Smithfield went there, so... I don't, I don't know if Smithfield went to Stuart House because of Almarola or because of their of what Smithfield called I think subpar performances I think what they said. So if they left um, Richard Petty because of Eric Almarola, then yeah, the, the probably will Almarola probably won't go to the ten. But if they left Richard Petty because of the car and they actually still like Almarola, they just left because of the subpar performances by Richard Petty. Motorsports themselves, they they like Almarola. They think Almarola has potential, but Richard Petty Motorsports is is, is a not a good enough team. But they like Almarola and they want to stay with Almarola. Then Almarola will go to Smithfield. I personally don't know. To me personally, it sounds like they were not happy with Richard Petty. But uh, we'll have to see if Almarola does go to Stuart Haas. Um, I, he knows where his plan is. He knows what he where he's going. And I know Casey Kane and Matt Kenseth. I think they also know who's going to go to the 10 card, and they know it's not them, so, um, Cole Custer maybe, but he hasn't really performed that much, in my opinion, he has, so he doesn't have a win, he, I don't think, he might be in the chase, um, based on points, I think he's in the chase right now, I don't remember off the top of my head, but he doesn't have a win, I know that for sure, um, and, um, you know, he really is, only in the Xfinity Series because of Haas sponsoring him and sponsored him in the Junior Motorsports. Really, Junior Motorsports discovered him when Junior Motorsports was still back in trucks. He did win a truck race. I'll give him that. He did win a truck race at like 16 years old. And he should have probably won a truck race last year at um, Motorsport, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, but uh, got wrecked by G John, John Nemechek, uh, John Hunter Nemechek. So, um, but we'll see. We'll see if he performs um, the rest of the season. Cole Custer does. I personally don't think it's him going up to Cup. I think it's, it's too early to put him into Cup, uh, but I don't really know who else could go there. Make him a down, baby. Uh, he's, he's pretty good. Uh, I mean, that team, 95 team, is pretty underfunny, yet they're still performing pretty good. And he's actually in front of Amarillo in points. Now, to be fair, Amarillo did miss a bunch of races, but I think his finishes, if you just, you know, I think he was, I think his finishes are better than Amarillo's. Um, just like in a hole, if you look at it, even though Amarola has run less races, I think McDowell still has better has 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 had a better season than Amarola. So Eric Amarola, Richard Petty Motorsports, ages four and up. Eric Amarola, the U.S. number forty three Air Force twenty seventeen Ford Fusion Limited Edition Code, the one sixty four scale stock code, Mission Collectible. Uh, the stuff on this side, bus code. and all of that. So let's get this car out of the package. Um, and Al Marola never actually drove this car. Um, to be fair, he, I don't think, I don't think it's scheduled to drive Phoenix. I was gonna say he might drive it at Phoenix, the, uh, Chase Phoenix race, at least. Cause that race is always held, like, on Veterans Day, like, or Veterans Day weekend, I think. So, I think, um, Patriotic cars run there. Um, I don't 2015 and 2014, Jimmy Johnson ran, like, a Patriotic car there. He didn't run more in 2016, so I may be wrong. It may not be Veterans Day weekend anymore. Um, this year, I don't remember when it exactly. It's a week before Homestead. I think Homestead's what, like the 17th, 19th, so um, something like that. So, um, and Elmo actually never did drive this car. Like I said, he uh, cause he cause of his broken back, Regan Smith drove this car in the uh, All Star race. Or not the All Star. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Charlotte, I believe. With, uh, he had, um, so, and he had a, uh, soldier up here, um, a fallen soldier, or someone was up, well, a uh, fallen, like, I think, it, it might have been actually part of the Air Force, uh, they had someone up here, of course, like, all the cars do at the Charlotte race, um, but I think this car was released before, like, I think it was released at the start of the season, so, three things, Lionel did, all the thing was gonna be, at the main band was gonna be at the back here, they didn't know Regan Smith was going to drive this car, and they didn't know the uh, soldiers name either. there. So, you can't really blame him for that. So, and Elmola won in this car in 2014 at the Daytona race, but surprisingly, Bubba Wallace drove the Smithfield car there. 
Um, so U.S. Air Force on the hood with I guess that's their logo, U.S. Air Force's logo. Um, so it's kind of cool that U.S. Air Force is, sponsors a uh, car. That's pretty cool, a uh, NASCAR. Moog May Hellcop Airbox Snowco. Mechanic Swear Mobile One Flowmaster. Drillist Brakes 3M, Integrity Service Excellence, Fresh Florida, that also sponsors them. Usually, I think on the back here, on some cars, I think he might have ran the Talladega what car was a like Fresh Florida scheme. The car that he uh, finished like fourth in, what, something like that, Talladega. Pretty good finish, but then he failed an inspection, so. U.S. Air Force, U.S. Air Force, SDP, Safety Clean, Ford, um, Mac Tools, and I don't know what that is. That looks like a USA kind of sponsor. I mean, that's a USA flag, but right there, I'm going to roll a USA flag up there, and then there, I have no clue what that is. Uh, Smithfield, Aim High, US Air Force, was that RM? Yeah, that sponsor is RM. Um, Ford, Ford, 43, so... This head is the same. So if we take a look at the paint scheme, it's got a blue hood, mostly blue, but then you have these a little like electrical shocks. Well, not electrical shocks, not electrical shocks, but like electrical lines or something going up the hood and onto the roof a little bit. It's on the side as well, right there. And um, it's actually a pretty cool design, if you ask me. It's up there on the uh, uh, post pillar there. Um, so, and this uh, little loop kind of thing that's, um, is on the, uh, Richard, is on Richard Petty's cars, uh, it stays there, but white and, uh, blue, and then there's, a, like, a shock going from the, uh, front tire to the rear tire, um, there's, like, a shock starting at the, uh, grill, not the grill, but the, um, I guess kind of the grill, the splitter, uh, starting at, like, the splitter and going to the tire, and then there's another one shock, like, right there, starting at the tire, like I said, going to that tire, and then there's another shock starting at the left tire, or the rear tire, and going up to the bumper, and continues on to the bumper. So, um, very nice design. I do like the design on this car. It has an orange number on the, uh, roof. So... I don't know why they don't run it at Daytona anymore, uh, unless the U.S. Air Force didn't want to sponsor Bubba Wallace, which I think why Smithfield back it out of the uh, deal, because talks were ha talks talks were going that Bubba Wallace was gonna be in that forty three car next year, and Smithfield didn't like those talks. They didn't want to sponsor Bubba Wallace, so they pulled out. So that may be they're going with Almirola to attend because they want to sponsor Eric Almirola. And not Bubba Wallace, and since Bubba Wallace is going to be in the ten car or the forty three, they thought they thought that the, or they, the talks were going on that Bubba Wallace is going to be in the forty three. Set they said no, 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 no. We don't want to sponsor him. We want to sponsor Eric Almirola. So they left to go to Stuart Haas. Maybe they made a deal that if Stuart Haas was going to sign Eric Almirola, they would come to them with sponsorship. And of course, every team, even a big team, needs sponsorships. Plus, that ten car hasn't had much sponsorship. Plus, that 14 car hasn't had much sponsorship. I'm not saying they could go to 10, but I think that they're going to the 10 is where they're going to. Um, plus, the Anchor Patrick left the 10 car, so, you know. Because uh, <laughs> uh, Haas pretty much sponsors Boyer for a lot of races, although Boyer does have sponsorship for Mobile One. Haas sponsors Kurt Busch. Um, and then the Anchor Patrick has a bunch of like sponsors like Aspen Dental, Tax Slayer, Code 3 Associates, uh, well, was she sponsored? I think she was sponsored by her own clothes line at um, Richmond this year, or yeah, last week. So they went there and they gonna sign out as a main sponsor, maybe for the ten, and then they're gonna bring out Marola over, and uh, you know, I don't know, maybe they're gonna go, maybe they're gonna split the ride, maybe, maybe what's gonna happen is all those sponsors at the ten car, Code Three Associates, Tax Slayer, Aspen Dental, all move over to the fourteen. So, and Haas won't have to worry about the 14, sponsoring the 14. They might only have to sponsor him for, like, a race or two. And can focus on Haas really sponsoring just Kurt Busch and have Smithfield sponsor the 10 car. That might how play out. That's my prediction. So, let me know what yours is down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this car. How would you rate it? Um, it's actually a pretty sharp paint scheme. I like it. Looks pretty good. Um, unfortunately, Elmer never ran this car. Like I said, Regan Smith actually drove it. Um, but I have to give it about a nine point, yeah, nine nine out of ten. Um, pretty good scheme, um, and uh, of course the U.S. U.S. Air Force sponsoring um, 
Um, well, you know, that, that's pretty cool as well that the U.S. Air Force sponsors a car and uh, NASCAR. So, that's pretty cool. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think of this car, what your predictions are as I'm really going to Stuart Haas next year. So, let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, by the way, about the SDP car, I should be getting that car. Um, I'm hoping to buy it at... Um, pretty soon i'm hoping to get the almarola sdp car that you ran at martinsville so another almarola car maybe you'll be seeing a review on soon i hope to get it soon so thanks for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and bye